do a proper get ready with me since I will be vlogging this entire week so I just got out of the shower and I'm going to do my hair and my favorite little Marley hair ponytail look it doesn't really matter what kind of hair you get as long as it's afro twist hair or Marley hair or just hair that's not straight any kind of Marley hair or afro braid hair that you get is gonna come straight out the pack pretty not fluffy over the couple of days that you wear it, it will eventually get bigger 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 and bigger so since i will be walking today in the surreal footwear fashion show <laughs> book me for your next fashion show i mean clearly i have experience this is my second fashion show we have to walk the high line which is a above ground park here in new york city it's a mile long that we're going to be walking but that's fine because i'll be in my very comfortable sorrel footwear shoes and then after we're going to an after party it should be fun so yeah let's just get right into it let me show you guys what i've been using on my face i actually got these products not too long ago lana ogilvy and it is so amazing i love the facial serum i use every morning and every night i also use the eye cream the eye cream is really good i only use it at night i actually don't really feel like i need anything for my under eye but i mean you should start early right i couple this at night with my fave elemis peptide night time recovery cream this is one of my favorite products i use this product every single day of my life all right so let me go ahead and get started with my hair first let me put some of this facial serum on since i'm gonna be comes with a little medicine dropper too and i love the way this smells it just smells very scientific if that's the smell. So for my slick back ponytail, I only need a few products. You guys have seen this one already. I use it all the time. The Eco Styler Argon Gel. This big one cost me four bucks. I also have a small one. And then I just have a brush that I use. And then for my baby hairs, I don't think I'm gonna do them today though. I use the best edge control. This is my hair in its natural state. I know someone in the comments is gonna say, oh my God, my roll, your hair is so cute. You should wear it out more often. I mean, if you wanna come and do it for me, like. why the sun decided to come out but this hair is called supreme royal silk afro twist braid hair and i like it because it already comes out pretty fluffy i actually want it to be a little thicker so i bought two packs i'm not going to use all of it but i'm gonna just pull a few strokes out of here and add it to this little bundle i'm just holding it in the middle so this is a good amount of thickness that i like so I'm just holding it here in the middle like that. I have a little, and then I just make like this, wrap it around and pull it through. So it just does that, makes like a little knot. I wish you guys could see it better, but this on the bottom, this part. Put it on like that around my little and this hair goes over it and then I just take extra strands bobby pin them and wrap it around wrap 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 so that my little ball is covered and that it's nice and secure and then I use a bunch of bobby pins to bobby pin it and this is the look I don't sleep in this so like I take it out at night and I just redo it in the morning like that's how quick and easy it is Let's get ready for the day. 
All right, guys, so it is 8.15, Wednesday, October 2nd. My call time is 12.15, so I'm gonna try and leave the house by like 11. But because today is Wednesday, of course, I have to upload a new YouTube video, and today it's going to be the first Paris vlog. And then I need to do my Insta stories for the morning to remind people of Monday's blog post, which was the girlfriend's guide to Paris. If you're interested in going to Paris, definitely check out that blog post over on my blog, Fashion Still NYC. Then I'm gonna promptly take my makeup off because they want me to come fresh face. So I just did the quickest of beats. I'm gonna give you the rundown. My brows, I have Glossier Boy Brow in black. I like my brows nice and thick. My foundation is the NARS Sheer Glow in Bahia and Maceo. I like to mix the two, they are perfect. Laura Mercier Translucent Powder to seal everything in, so good. I also have on the NARS Amande Concealer. Works for all of the dark marks where I have the hyperpigmentation on my inner eye and on my eyelid i have a palette from and other stories they have amazing palettes i always put a lighter shade in the crevice of my eye and kind of a sparkly shade on my lids for my mascara i have the laura mercier caviar chrome on my cheeks i have the nars wanted two palette it's my favorite palette i use it all the time it comes with six different colors it's amazing my highlight on my nose and a little on my cheekbones is the nars saint bart's highlighter and then on my lips i have nars dance fever it's very matte you could barely tell that i have anything on but i do and that is my look all the products can be found below there's links all right guys, so I am super excited because today I will be walking in the mile long runway with Sorrel Footwear, yes. It is my second fashion show, y'all. Like, booked, busy, and blessed. Trademarked by Kayla Walker. Anywho, I'm very excited, it should be fun. I'm definitely gonna take you guys with me. So look, anytime I play that song, y'all know that like I'm in an amazing mood. God is blessing me many times over. Like, cheers to life, okay? So yes, I will be walking in the Sorrel Footwear fashion show. I just got finished posting the first Paris vlog YouTube video and y'all, I already have a dislike. I mean, thank you <laughs> because just in case you didn't know, Thumbs down also equals uh, engagement. And so that just moved my video up in uh, views. So appreciate you. All right guys, so I just got myself together. They wanted us to wear whatever we were gonna wear to the after party there. So I chose something really quick and easy to slip on and off. Plus it's like 89 degrees today. It is very hot. I chose to wear this unique low dress. Sorry about all the sirens, I can't help it. I got this unique low dress last year. Was it last year or was it earlier this year? I don't know. They might have it in stock, but I doubt it. Clearly there's a massive fire somewhere and I hope everybody's okay. Gonna get my bag together. I'm gonna take these Sorrel shoes that I will be wearing and my makeup bag just in case, my moisturizer a charger, my phone, a few magazines. I've learned from the last show I was in with DSW that it's a lot of downtime. And I'm also hungry, but there should be food there. So, Lego. Yes, I'm taking the train because it's probably quicker and I'm late. You know, models take the train too, guys. I'm here on 14th Street where the High Line starts. Good thing I took the train. It got me here just in time. And the air condition was on on the train, which is great because it's hot. It's a beautiful day. In the neighborhood. So I'm just passing Cyril, and these are the shoes I'm wearing in the show today. And I actually have these kinetic sneakers, they're amazing. How cool! Can't wait for the show. All right, guys, I'm hungry and I know they're gonna have model food, but I need real food, so. Thank you. Chicken 
bitch. Going up these steps. And I think I'm in the right place. guys the show is over we had to walk a little bit in the rain which is why but that's all. I look like this now but it was super fun I saw some familiar faces I saw my girl Yamina Mayo out in the crowd I saw my girl Jessica Andrews out in the crowd thank you guys for showing up it was cool I never walked a mile before in some Sorrel shoes they were comfy and they are surprisingly waterproof all right, so I'm tired. I was gonna, gonna go to the after party, but guys, I'm just gonna head home. It's been a long day. Um, I would check back in. Miniana. Good morning, guys. It is bright and early. It is October 5th, I wanna say, Saturday. I chose to take the day off from doing stories. I actually just got finished doing my makeup. I love this time of morning because I feel like, especially on the weekends, the city is so quiet and the light and my apartment is amazing. Just like, let me show you. I'm gonna try and film two haul videos today before I do a bunch of stuff. Today I'm going to the Zach Posen uh, bridal show, so that should be fun. And then I also need to pick up a bunch of envelopes so that I can mail off steel magazines when they arrive. I think they're either arriving today or Monday so I can send those off, then go to the show. So I have a lot to do before I need to be at the show at two. It is now 9.30. I might do a few Insta stories. So I definitely want to document the Zach Posen show, but I really just can't wait <laughs> to drink my coffees. But before I do that, I'm gonna take one of these vitamins. I actually got these maybe like a month or two ago. They are the Glow Habitat Good Skin Dietary Supplement. 60 vegan gummies. They taste so good. Like I try not to eat more than the recommended two doses. But I also think this backs you up a little bit. I also really like their sleep well. I don't really have a problem sleeping, like I can literally hit the pillow and be out. But when I got back from Paris, I definitely, my sleep pattern was just like, whoa. And these really helped a lot. So now I just need to decide what I'm gonna wear for this first haul. I like to wear things that I can link or similar things because a lot of people always ask and I wanna be able to help them get the look. I'm gonna go ahead and get ready, get these videos out of the way, and I will check back in when I'm running errands and on my way to the Zach Posen bridal show. All right guys, I've done pretty good. It is now like 11.30, I just wrapped 
doing my new in video while I was filming. Rose hit me up and wants to go to the Maj sample sale today. So I'm gonna go and head to the Zach Pozon show at two and then meet up with her, take you guys to the sample sale with us. We're probably gonna shoot a look and just like relax, have a really cool day. So I'm all dressed and ready, about to head to the Zach Posen show, wearing vintage Chanel earrings, NARS Mysterious Red Lipstick, my favorite H&M top. It's about two sizes too big so I can tuck it crisscrossed. There's no secret, like someone wanted me to make a video on how to do this. I literally put on the shirt and tucked it crisscross. But you have to buy a bigger shirt in order for it to work. I'm wearing a C's Marjan skirt that I got from their sample sale. These are my BCBG pumps that I got from DSW. I did a, like a little collab with them. Recently I actually walked in their runway show during fashion week. So this is my whole look. And I'm gonna go ahead and head down to the show. I'm trying to think if I'm gonna take a train or if I'm gonna call a car. I don't know, I think I'm gonna call a car y'all cause uh, your girl is tired. Out here in meatpacking, I actually ended up taking the train and now I'm walking to the show. It's almost two o'clock. Might be a tiny bit late, but it's a presentation, so it's fine. Well, thank you for all coming out this afternoon. Uh, it is a huge honor to be launching Zach Posen for White One. Just left the Zach Posen for White's presentation and it was so beautiful. It makes me want to get married. But the good thing is that those dresses are super affordable. And also like dresses that you can wear more than once. So now I'm headed to meet Rose. We're gonna have lunch at one of my favorite restaurants. And then we're gonna do some sample sailing. And I'm gonna take you guys with me. Look at this vision, just hop out of cab right where I am. Hi. This is a beautiful dress. Thank you. Rent where? the runway, baby. Oh, yeah. Look, wasn't I just telling y'all about rent the runway earlier? Yeah, you guys oh, need to get on light. it. Gotta get some light. Oh, hi. Bonjour. Where do you want to shoot? Um, there's this building on Park Avenue and the. Uh,
just got finished shooting our looks really quickly and now we have to find some place else to go because unbeknownst to me union cafe they have a different menu after three o'clock and it doesn't have all the good stuff on it so i really would like this one to experience the full menu so we need to go another day to a sample sale I'm excited as if we need to be at a sample sale that is true we, <laughs> we do not need to be at a sample sale we don't do lines <laughs> yeah no. and there's a line 2019 just got in it was a really productive and fun day I hope so far at this point that you guys are enjoying this vlog and please let me know in the comments if you guys like this style of vlogging just like my everyday stuff we might make that happen all right guys i'm gonna call it a night wash this makeup off lay down maybe catch up on some tv shows monday we'll be back in action good morning guys it is october 7th monday and the the day is already off to like an amazing start i just posted a new blog post this morning at about 9 30 i got a package yes finally the Steel magazines arrived very early this morning. So I'm really happy about that because I will be able to package those and send them off today. <sighs> so I just refreshed my hair and put my ponytail in. Just to refresh my like natural hair, I use the Abita Rinseless Refresh. Ever since I got this Lana Ogilvy like facial serum. I've been using it every morning. It says to use it two times a day. And I let it dry. And then I start with like my makeup routine. And it has made a difference in the texture of my skin. The skin on my face is actually really soft, but I just have a lot of hyperpigmentation and huge pores. My brother and I both have large pores and it's hereditary. And so he even asked me, he's like, is there anything I can use like for my pores? And I told him about a few Elements products that I use and a Pixie product that I use. And he said, oh, those have been working. But this new product that I just got, it's the Elemis Pro Collagen Insta Smooth Primer. Line and Pore Smoothing Primer. This stuff is amazing. Like literally, I've only used it once and I noticed a huge difference in my pores. So I put it here because that's really where I have the issue with my big pores. But it goes on, it feels kind of cooling. It feels kind of cold, like cryotherapy or something. And I feel like it just sucks the pores closed. It lasts all day long. Usually I have to blot like here and even a little on my forehead and I didn't have to blot all day yesterday. I had makeup on all day. I didn't have to blot and this stuff, I mean it works. I mean look, this ain't sponsored. This is just products that work for real. You put this on after your moisturizer. So the moisturizer that I use anytime I'm gonna wear makeup is called the Elements Peptide for Adaptive Day Cream. I'll talk about this stuff all the time and it kind of does the same thing with like evening out your skin tone and just preparing your face for makeup so i put that on and then once this is really good and dry i put the elements pro collagen insta smooth and this is new like this just came out definitely check it out if you have a problem with pores you guys know dry bar Dry bar is kind of like, you know, a hair salon. You could just pop in and get like a quick treatment.
for your hair. Well, there's now a dry bar for your teeth. So it's called Beam Street and it's a new place here in New York City. It's down on 13th Street. Basically, you could just pop in and have anything dealing with your oral hygiene done like super quick it's affordable it's accessible most of the treatments are up to 40 percent off like standard rate which is good for me because <laughs> i'm an entrepreneur currently i have a dental plan but it doesn't cover everything and i still have to end up paying out of pocket for a lot of things a lot of us don't have health insurance or if we do it doesn't cover a lot of things like dental so this is really great i'm gonna take you guys with me today when i get my cleaning i'm gonna show you the facilities it's gonna be really cool shout out to beam street family for you know putting this together for me like i need a cleaning So that was my quick and easy everyday makeup look. I will put all of the products that I used down below in the description. Time to do my Insta stories for the day to alert people to my new blog post. I also posted the very last Paris Fashion Week vlog. So I finished up my Insta stories and I did a little unboxing over on my Instagram of a few things that I got from NARS. NARS is always sending me amazing things. I love all of their products to be honest. But they just released their Studio 54 Holiday Collection and it is so good. Like look at that packaging, this is so cool. They have the best packaging. So this is the new eyeshadow palette, it's called inferno beautiful colors i'm really gonna like try to step up my makeup game i i know y'all are sick of me doing my plain and simple makeup but like that's all i know how to do because i'm not a makeup girl i'm planning on hooking up with one of my friends who is a makeup artist and getting some tips and tricks and like really learning how to do my makeup so you know when i have to do it it it's not so basic they also sent over this climax eyeshadow which I already have. I love this eyeshadow, it's really amazing. I think this is the Climax lipstick. For these three lipsticks, like these colors are it. This one is Carmen and it is a really good red. Mona is more of a autumn-y there on the bottom. That's Mona. And then this is the nude one called Barbara. Not sure I'll wear this one, it's a little too washed out for me and then they also sent over these liquid lip stains in various colors isn't the packaging amazing like it's so good they also sent over the orgasm eyeshadow they also sent over an eyeliner the high pigment long wear liner oh 
one of the best eyeliners on the market. I have been spending most of the afternoon getting everything together and trying to mail out these last few issues of the print copy of Steel Magazine. I do it all myself by hand because I'm so type A and I just can't give anyone that kind of control. I don't know why, I'm a, I'm a control freak. I just did get a package in from Blue Apron, guys. I love Blue Apron, like it comes with three meals for two people, so for me, I'm just cooking for myself, it's six meals. I can do like a dinner and then eat the next one the next day for lunch. Okay, let me get into finishing these magazines up. I mailed all the magazines off. I changed into a cuter outfit. This top is from Zara, but there's tons of them online. So I'll try to find one and link it. It's like a satin sheen top. I'm pretty sure they still have them in Zara. And then I'm wearing some Aclier culottes. I know it looks like a skirt, but it's culottes that I thrifted from Buffalo Exchange and my Chanel Pearl Mule pumps. I also put on like a more nude lip since I know they're going to be working on my teeth but I will post a photo probably on my Instagram and let you know how it goes during my appointments. Even though I love the dentist I'm actually a tiny bit anxious and I get anxiety anytime I have to go and a friend just gave me some of this plus CBD oil hemp drops and so I'm just gonna try a few under my tongue before this appointment. You can put it in your coffee or just like right under your tongue. It actually tastes really good, it tastes like candy. Hopefully it like takes the edge off a little. All right, let's go to the dentist. And it's so cool. I had the best cleaning. All of the ladies are so nice. It's an all-female business, which is really cool. And it's like 40% off of most of their treatments, including Invisalign. They took me through how my teeth would look if I get Invisalign. And I can also still keep my gap, which is really good because when I was young, it's always something I wanted to do to like um, get braces to make my teeth touch but I had a really bad like experience when I was young they told me they would have to like break my jaw in order for my teeth to touch and then my jaw would have to be wired and so I didn't want to go through that as a teenager it was like really scary I didn't want to do it but she just went through they like scanned my entire mouth in like five minutes and showed me how it would look if I got Invisalign I mean, it would take a year and a half for me to have like perfect teeth close my overbite so my teeth line up and also I could close my gap to however like small or big I want it to be which is great because I always thought if you got something like that that you couldn't customize like your gap it would just automatically close and I love my gap y'all it's not something that I want to leave they're really geared towards millennials like working millennials entrepreneurs who might not have a dental plan everything is super affordable their cleanings are $150 that's it and that comes with x-rays so if you live if you live in the New York New York City area and you're looking for a dentist definitely check out Beam Street Nala she was my dental hygienist she was amazing like I haven't had a cleaning in over a year and <laughs> it was perfect I had no pain and my teeth feel squeaky clean actually I'm gonna come back in the next three months 
to get another cleaning and to kind of get my gums on track, but a great experience overall. Definitely check them out. And now I need to eat because I haven't eaten all day, but it's a beautiful day in the city. So I got my nails done, my nails and my toes, and now I'm on my way home to try and cook one of these blue aprons before they go bad. So I decided to go with the Spanish shrimp and rice. I have all of my ingredients out here, the sweet peppers, the garlic, the shrimp, the zucchini, the scallion, and then in this little bag comes all of the knickknacks, which is basically all of these little things that I'll be needing. Food is still cooking, and while it's cooking, I'm gonna use some of my favorite Elemis Gentle Foaming Wash Cleanser. And I just slather it all over my face. Get all that makeup off. I'm gonna do the rest of my skincare routine like after I get out of the shower, after I finish cooking, but I feel a thousand times better, guys. A thousand. See how my food is doing. Ooh, it's coming along nicely. All right, guys. I am done making my Spanish shrimp and rice. It already tastes delicious. Can't wait to eat it. I will check back in tomorrow. It'll be the last day of my week vlogging because I will be heading to Bermuda soon. So stay tuned and thank you for watching and see you manana. Good morning guys, so it is Tuesday, October 8th. I'm up bright and early. I washed my hair last night, which is why I got on my hair wrap. It's actually still a little wet, but I am about to go get my hair twisted for my Bermuda trip, which I'm really excited about. I need a break 
Even though I'm kind of working this trip, right after this trip, I'm going somewhere else that I won't be disclosing because it will be my actual vacation. So here's a few things that I'm packing. These items I got from Farm Rio. If you guys watch my Insta stories, I went to their spring preview and they let us pick out a few pieces. I also bought a few things from Shopbop. Nothing here is kind of sponsored or that I have to wear. I just chose to like chill this trip. I did buy a few things from ASOS. When I actually get to Bermuda, I'll do what I pack for Bermuda while I'm there. I'm also gonna vlog while I'm there, but today is the last day of the week with me vlog. I already kind of cleaned my apartment because anytime I go away, I have to come back to like a clean house. I cannot come back to a dirty house. I just can't. I already watered all my plants too. Cornelia and Amelia. So I have a little bit of this CBD oil and it has been helping with my anxiety. I haven't really had too much anxiety lately. I actually wrote a blog post about my anxiety a few months ago. There was a month that was really, really bad this summer that I felt like I needed medication because I had so much anxiety. But after kind of really thinking it, thinking through it and eliminating what I was worried about. That anxiety kind of went away, but it's kind of creeping back up. My friend told me that I could put this in my coffee, like a few drops, so maybe I'll try that and see how it goes. That's what this whole spiel was about. So far, I really love it. It tastes really good, actually. It's the Plus CBD Oil Hemp Drops, and this is not sponsored, but even if it was, like, it's amazing. If I can find a link to it, I'll put it below. She actually gave it to me because she also suffers from anxiety, but she just had a baby and she's breastfeeding and is unable to use this. And so she gave it to me. And thank you so much, girl. Love you. So gonna make my coffee. I haven't tried these yet. Ooh, this one says it's intense. I don't think I wanna use that one. Maybe this one. Washed South American mid roasted in a mellow cup. Okay, we'll go with that one. All right, loves, it is now like five, almost six o'clock on Tuesday evening and I got my super duper long twist. They're a little thinner. For my trip to Bermuda, it took all day. I slept most of the time and now I'm just tired. That's it for the week with me. I need to pack. I need to get my life together because my flight leaves super duper early tomorrow morning, but that's okay. Cause we're gonna pick off in Bermuda and there will be a Bermuda vlog. I actually have a few Bermuda vlogs or at least one. So if you're dying to see what I'm probably gonna do again there, go ahead and check out the older Bermuda vlog. I mean vlog. I'll put details about my hair on the Bermuda vlog, so. Stay tuned and thank you so much guys for watching. I tried a little something different like just actually vlogging my life, my day, and I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of vlog. Not a lot going on, just hanging out with me. I appreciate all of you. Do not forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys soon. I'll leave you now with Amelia.